Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Alex over here and, and I'm actually inside the house because it's the garage. Even though I have the mini split uh, in there, I haven't turned it on and it's very, very, very hot. It's probably around 120 degrees in there. And this video is gonna be a little bit different. So as you guys can see behind me, I have two different bikes, okay? This is our, right here is the Swing Axum, right here is the Himalo frame build. And why am I making this video? Well, I don't know, maybe this is an educational video kind of thing, kind of like that, because as you know, I started mountain biking on a budget kind of thing, hence the Swing Axum, and hence the Himalo frame, which is not too expensive. Now, if you're on a stage like that, and if you're like me that started upgrading the bike as you went, and you now have a complete build on a budget frame, and it's a hardtail, and you're ready to move to a full suspension, but you don't wanna spend $2,000, $3,000 on a full suspension bike, then I think this is gonna help you probably make a decision if you wanna save some money. As you know, when I made the initial video about this one, December last year, this frame is less than $400. As of right now, I think it was $369, something like that. And you can still find it from AliExpress, and of course, I will leave affiliates for everything in the description below. Now, what does that matter? Well, if you upgraded your hardtail and you already have all the parts, then if you're ready to move on to a full suspension, then it's gonna be super easy because all of the parts that you already use can be used on your new frame. And with very minimal effort, you can build a good full suspension bike for almost nothing. Of course, you're gonna be spending a few little things on adapters and things like that, but let's uh, say, because this is a boost frame, this one has a 141 uh, rear axle, this one is a 148, but there's still adapters for all of these things, and it's super easy to make those changes. Like those things are like $10, maybe $6, something like that, and the only thing that you will need to actually buy will be a shock, a rear shock for the full suspension frame. Now, you can go on the cheap route and start like that, like getting a DNM uh, shock for $100 off of Amazon, straight up brand new. Or you can go the other the alternate route, go to Pink Buy, go to Facebook Marketplace and find a good Fox, Rock Shark, so whatever brand, Marsoki, whatever brand that you like for something that is used but in, in good condition, maybe even a takeoff because the person that is selling it upgraded and you can get probably about the same price on a Fox than a DNM. And then that will probably be the most that you're gonna spend in upgrading from your hardtail to your full suspension. So, again, it's just a quick video, a quick overview, and I'm gonna show you a little bit of the both, both bikes, just to show you the comparison and tell you what I have. And like I said, everything is transferable to the new bike that you're gonna get. So again, whenever you start upgrading bikes, it's not necessarily a waste of money on the parts that you put in, like for example on the Axum, because when you upgrade them, you can take those parts with you to the next bike and then you don't have to spend money again buying the same parts all over for the new bike, because why? You already have them. So let me show you. For I know this bike is completely built, but all the parts that I have on the Himalo frame, they were spare parts that I had laying around from bikes that I sold, so again, if you can see, I have WTB wheels, WTB wheels. Your fork is a taper fork, and even if it wasn't a, a taper fork, you can always get the adapter for like 10, 15 dollars. If you wanna go the cheap route, you can utilize the same stem, transfer it over to, as you can see, I have the exact same stem on this one, but I didn't get rid of this hardtail. Now the other thing, if you actually have the same scenario as I do, that dropper post is the same size as that dropper post over there. So it's a quick direct fit. When you change the through axles, I mean the wheels, things like that, if you had an adapter, because I have an adapter over there, over there for a quick release, but those are through axle 141, or one, I think they're 142 on this one, because you can make them fit. You can take that same wheel and buy a spacer, and I don't know if I can see it over here, Probably not, but there's a spacer right there that you put between the, the two sides and it'll fit in here. So you don't have to actually spend on a brand new set of wheels to transfer it over. 
And again, the only, I mean, you can bring over the brakes, you can bring over the fork, you can bring over your handlebars, your grips, your saddle, everything, just transfer it over and then you just get a, a, a shock. Again, I paid like $100 for that Fox DPS 32, which was a great deal. And then you can also transfer, of course, your drivetrain, your bottom bracket, your uh, crank arms, your cassette, your derailleur, all that just transfers over to the new bike. So it's a great thing that you can do if you want to get rid of the hardtail. So, and the, what, what, what I will do is get rid of the hardtail, put it back to stock. If you still have the parts or keep it as a spare or I don't know, sell the frame, whatever the case might be. But currently, I know there's a, I'm not going to say anything about this because there's a whole lot of hardtail lovers out there that would love to have both a hardtail and a full suspension. I mean, I do. But if you just want to move on, I mean, if it's your learning or whatever, you just want to make the big jump to a full suspension bike, just take all the parts from the hardtail. Don't, you don't have to just, and if you want to sell the frame because maybe later on you want to save up and put it back together with different parts, maybe lower end parts or maybe higher end, whatever, whatever the case may be, you can still do that, but it's your, your thing to do. You know, of course, again, the most, the biggest investment will be to get a frame. You don't necessarily have to get this Himalo frame. Maybe you get a used frame from uh, the Pros Closet or something like that. From uh, maybe a name brand uh, frame bike, maybe a Trek, maybe a, a Specialized, whatever the case may be. But again, don't be afraid to make those changes because again, if you don't have the money to buy a full complete bike, you already have most of it over here that you can just transfer over to whatever frame you get next. Again. Bottom bracket transfers, the headset most of the times transfer, transfer, but if they don't, then you can get a new set for like $20. If you wanna go on the cheap route, of course, they vary in prices, but all of these things are very easy to do, especially if you're mechanic inclined. You can do all of this yourself, and if you're not, just buy the basic tools, watch my, my videos. I have a bunch of videos on how to do almost every, actually every single thing on your bike by yourself. So again, if you, be, I mean, this is gonna attract maybe new or beginners or middle beginner riders that are starting into the sport on a budget bike. Again, there's a, this is the Axum, this came in in 2020. Now we have other bikes, we have the Ozark, we have the Ledge, we have the, uh, the True Bells and many other bikes that started coming along after this one came out and all of those are great bikes. Uh, they're comparable to this, to this Axum. But again, if you're ready to make the move to get a full suspension bike, you already have everything that you need, except maybe even you have a chalk laying around or you can buy a chalk like I told you earlier in the video. Again, I hope that this video helps you because uh, it really is not a lot that you gotta invest in getting a full suspension like that, get just, and like I said, I haven't made a review on this bike yet, but I can tell you, and I've been telling you every time I upload a new video, that I haven't done a review on this bike, on the Himalo frame. So far, this bike has been performing so good. I have broken my own records, and I cannot say almost anything bad about this bike. I will go into detail when I make the video, and again, I'll leave affiliates for these bikes, all the products, everything in the description below. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. Ask me, follow me on Instagram at alexmtv84. You can follow me there, ask me questions. I'll try to my best to, to, to respond to everything that you guys write. And other than that, that's gonna wrap it up for this one, guys. Again, if you're ready, just, just make the move, it's not that hard. You already have everything in there. You already have everything here to transfer over. You just get a shock, that's it. All right guys, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. Hope you liked it. Hope it makes you not being afraid of spending money because you don't have to spend a lot of money. And other than that, I guess, let me know what you think about this. Let me know if you're gonna make a move and get a frame like this or something like that. And I guess I will see you on the trails. Let's ride.